Hello, Tristan here from the Insane Nation of Gamers, bringing you a new series that I'm going to be calling Redstone for Dummies. I'm going to start this off with the very basics and get into some more advanced stuff like doors and traps and all those little gems that I love doing because to me, this game of Minecraft here, it's all about the redstone. So, to start us off, this is redstone. It comes in an ore form. You can mine it with an iron pick or a diamond pick, but you cannot mine it with a gold pick or a wooden or stone pick. Now redstone can be placed on any surface as so, but it cannot be placed on glowstone or dust. Another fact, another thing worth noting is that redstone here, as in redstone dust, redstone repeaters and torches can all be destroyed by water. Now there's four ways of activating, well four main ways of activating redstone, which is first a button, which is just a short pulse, which activates it for a little bit. The next is a lever, which will give it a continuous, a continuous power source until you decide to turn it off. There's then wooden pressure plates, which can actually be turned on by using an item, so I don't actually need to stand on that, nor does like a pig, a cow, or even a creeper. So I can also stand on it to power it. But with uh, a stone pressure plate, you can throw an item on it, but it won't actually activate it. You have to stand on it and activate it. Uh, redstone cannot travel vertically up walls. You have to kind of staircase your way up for it to activate such a thing like a piston. But there are two ways of doing a vertical ascension. There's the one by one block, where this torch here is powering this torch, which in turn, this torch is turning this this torch off. But as soon as I turn this power on, this will power off this torch, which then powers on this torch, which activates this. Exact same thing applies here, except more torches and yeah, they're just more torches and it's all about whichever one you want space for, whichever one you find aesthetically pleasing. Now, a redstone torch is a continuous source of power, so. It will never stop till you break it, and it will just keep giving off power. So, redstone current can only go for four, 15 blocks before it shuts off. So as you see, this this right here is still active, but this right here isn't, because this is the 15 block limit. Although, if I just grab this repeater, if you want to extend said current, you could knock this block out and replace it with a repeater, which then lets you go that extra... 15 blocks. This way you don't have to limit your creations. Redstone can also be used to change railroad tracks. So if you have, say you're coming this way and you want to go to the base here, but then coming from this way and you want to go this way to say like your buddy's house and say hi and steal his diamonds and stuff, you could have a lever which would activate this and then it would change the track so that you can then go cause your buddy grief. One of the harder things in redstone to get used to is the fact that a block such as this can hold a current. Any block in redstone except any block in minecraft except for glass and glowstone can hold a current. So when I power this one here this torch goes off and this torch here will then take its current because it's currently on in the on state and it will power this block right here and when it powers this block since this piston right here is in direct contact with this block that's in the on state now this piston will get extended we could also attach a repeater or some glowstone to this block and those would also be activated because of the current in this block if we turn it off this 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 there's no now no power going into this block which lets this torch be on, which then applies its current into this block, turning this torch off. Now, this block is now turned off. It's uh, kind of complicated, but once you get the hang of it, it's not too complicated. It's just on or off, so you have to just kind of practice with your practice and get used to it yourself. Another useful thing with repeaters, besides um, extending how far you can go with normal redstone, is that you can use it as a delay so instead of having like an instant change like this where as soon as I 
flick it, this turns on and off. When I press this button here, it will apply a current due to the fact that this block now has now has this block had a current in it for a tick, which I'll explain later. Now this timer here is set up now that there's a delay on it, you see that it's not fully lighting the whole thing up. So because these piston these Ah, oh, sorry, I got a text. These um, repeaters, they have settings. So, like, this is one tick, this is two ticks, this is three, this is four. Each one will delay it. So, when it's on one, you can see that it's moving a little faster. When it's on two, it will slow down. When it's on three, it will slow down even more. When it's on four, it will slow down completely. Just like how if I go and turn these all back to one, now there's like no delay to it. So, when I press this, the whole thing lights up and there's no delay on it because there's not enough delay to let the current not catch up with itself. So if you can understand that, you can understand timers that you need some delay on it so that when you go to press something like this, it takes it a second for this to shut off. But see, that wasn't even enough delay because this one was still fast, so now we fix that problem. Sorry. And now it's a proper circuit because this block had enough time to get rid of its current so that it didn't interfere with the circuit here. Let's stop that. It's annoying I'm gonna have a seizure. And um yeah so like with redstone you can power jupe um you can power note blocks which you can change by right clicking. You can actually uh you can also power doors such as wooden doors Iron doors. Iron doors can actually only be opened with a pressure plate, a button, a lever, or a redstone current. You can actually go and open it yourself, as you can see. So, yeah, this is good if you don't want your friends coming into your house. You can also uh, activate dispensers. They can shoot arrows or snowballs to try and hurt your, hurt your teammates or opponents or monsters. For me, I'm just going to have it be nice. Oh, hey, diamonds. Diamonds for days. Uh, you, you can actually power uh, trap doors with it so that you don't have to open your door. You could have a system that automatically opens it. Now there's two types, two types of pistons here. There's the regular piston here, which will just push a block, and that's all it does. Then there's my favorite type of piston here, which is a sticky piston, which will actually pull a block and, uh, and then pull it back into place. These ones are the best for making a hidden door or any type of thing, which I'll be going over in later tutorials when I actually decide to show you guys some uh, creations, inventions, not inventions, just stuff I've seen on YouTube and I've decided to make it myself. And um, yeah, with these basic information, you should be able to make most of the things like doors, opening refrigerators. The most important thing is that TNT, you can't light it off with your hand, you have to use redstone now so let's end this with a bang quite literal bang I hope you liked the series I'll be back in a later date with some more redstone for you guys and uh, yeah adios